what was the nature of the cult of athleticism? This question is really asking us, what did it look like? What did it look like in the public schools at that time when the cult of athleticism was at its prime? So let's have a look at some of those characteristics. So the nature then essentially means, as you can see there, the boys playing team sports. Now that on its own is not enough of a sufficient answer, I think, and there's more that we can use to develop it. Yes, the boys were playing team sports. They were obsessed with this uh, notion of team sports and being physically active. But how did that come about? What promoted it in the schools to enable these team sports to be played? So the first thing we can say there is that there were specialist facilities and space. Please make sure that you use that word specialist facilities, not just facilities specialist facilities to allow them to play their football or their rugby when it emerged. Similarly, along with that, they had specialist coaches, coaches that were employed to help them specifically to develop those sports. So specialist coaches, specialist facilities and space. With that came this concept of character development. It was good for you to be playing these types of sports, good for your character development. Next, these games developed because they were compulsory. The boarding schools had time. Remember, they had their lessons in the morning and then in the afternoons they played their sport. And so it became compulsory and they probably did it every afternoon. And therefore, you can see how that obsession developed and continued to perpetuate. Along with that as well came the development of fixtures, both inter-house fixtures against the other houses, but also in the school, but also um, with the advent of transport, particularly the railway, the movement of schools so they could travel between schools and play against one another. And then the last one is that the, the senior boys, the sixth form boys, really took a hold on delivering these sports and they became role models to the rest of the boys lower down the school. 